Hello everyone, I'm of course John Dorier in Tokyo, Japan. We're doing another edition of the Da 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 Ghost Letters Report. Now recently our uh, village idiot, who's known as the Prime Minister in Japan, Shinzo Abe, <laughs> excuse me, visited Cuba of all places. Now this is the first time a Japanese Prime Minister has ever visited the island. Right? So it's kind of a historic event in that sense. Well, what was he doing there? Well, he came there basically and he said, um, Hey guys, I need your help to uh, tame North Korea, also known as DPRK. Now, that's really odd coming to Cuba for that, right? Now, if he just came to Cuba and said, Hey, help me out with some politics, I would say, you know, Cuba is going to turn piss off, you know. But he's offering to sweeten the deal. Here's what he was offering, right? boost uh, tourism probably through Japanese tourist agencies right? uh, increased trade which Japan had been trading with Cuba for a very long time so there will be more of that and investment in the country now the investment part is where it gets interesting right now Abe has agreed to decrease Cuba's debt to Japan dramatically and take that decrease of debt and use it to set up an investment fund for Japanese companies in Cuba. Yeah. So Abe's come over there and to sum it up, he said, hey guys, put more put more of the lean on your good buddies, the DPRK, and uh, I'll send more tourists your way. Uh, I'll trade more with you. And um, I'll let Japanese companies come into Cuba and make money. Yeah. Now, how influential can Cuba be? Well, I doubt they're going to call for more sanctions against the DPRK. There's no way in hell, look at Cuba's history, they ain't going to call for sanctions against anybody. So probably what it looks like is what Abe's want to do is do some type of reform in the UN of how they deal with North Korea. He wants to venture set up talks, right? Because I think Abe sees, you know, that Japan ain't got the power to put any type of economic lean on a DPRK and Abe wants to be seen as a strong man in Asia of course so he probably wants to get some talks going or something like that score a political victory because he's got a quite rough road domestically coming up with this whole constitutional revision thing despite the fact he's got a supermajority in, in, in the parliament still going to be a rough road because the people here are not down with the way he wants to change things but will Cuba go full steam of this? That remains to be seen. We'll see what they do. I want to hear what you think about this latest development in the comment section below. If you have never subscribed, please do. I'm back into doing more videos again, so expect regular stuff more. Okay. So until next time, it's me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.